Hey, what's up guys? Camp Russia here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video. Today we have uh, we have a big one, man. We're going to give you all the details on the, the drama going on right now with Tifu suing FaZe Clan. I guess that's a bit more than drama. That's pretty serious. Uh, but uh, obviously there's some drama around it and I'm going to give you all the facts we know about so far and then everything we don't know about and you can make your decision from there or or you can hold off on making your decision until we get more info. But first, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I cover all things Fortnite here. And uh, of course, touch that like button for me. Helps out tremendously. And leave a comment at any point telling me what you think of this whole thing. Because, uh, yeah, it's a big one. Let's do this. Let's start with the massive article that was dropped by Hollywood Reporter that... Uh, that dropped all this info and I'll sum up the big parts for you the first one the obvious one Turner Tenney Tifu, a 21 year old professional gamer on Monday sued FaZe Clan for allegedly limiting his ability to pursue his profession in violation of California law passing on a lucrative brand deal because of a conflict of interest and failing to pay him his share of sponsorship earnings and I've double checked it's pretty obvious this is a real lawsuit there is it's already uh, brought into the courts it's official it's happening the big claim that he's making here is uh, is with this paragraph basically that gamer agreement is grossly oppressive onerous and one-sided FaZe Clan uses its illegal gamer contracts to limit Tenny Tifu to deals sourced exclusively by FaZe Clan and to prevent Tenny from exploring deals presented by others Deals that are potentially superior to deals procured by FaZe Clan and deals that are not saddled with an 80% finder's fee. So Tifu is claiming, here's uh, not confirmed fact, fact number one, Tifu is claiming that FaZe Clan takes 80% of his brand deal earnings, okay? And that's insane, but I should point out, we'll get to the, the FaZe Clan side, FaZe is claiming they only take 20%. So there's... Con conflicting information there and that's a big deal 20% is pretty industry standard for a management team manager to take uh, from your your brand deal fees and I guess the other claim there is that uh, Tifu is being limited to only phase clan exclusive sponsorships so this is just a random example but say Samsung wanted to sponsor him phase clan had a, a, a better connection or an inside connection with uh, a different company company similar to Samsung even though Samsung would pay more FaZe Clan may uh, that there's that conflict of interest where they can't work with Samsung because they're working with another company that's not the case I'm just kind of making an example that's the other uh, issue that's really uh, upsetting Tifu and is involved in this lawsuit the lawsuit all also claims that uh, that FaZe Clan is going against the talent agency act through its practice of procuring engagements in employment for gamers. The state law requires that any person or company who engages in the occupation of procuring, offering, promising, or attempting to procure employment or engagement for an artist must be licensed by the labor commissioner and conform to professional regulations. Its definition of artist includes a catch-all or catch-all of persons rendering professional services in motion picture, theatrical, radio, television, and other entertainment enterprises. So obviously this is new, right? That's there's not going to be much precedent to look at here uh, in the courts, but that's uh, that's another potentially valid claim that they're making. And, and I don't think we've seen much of it in the past. So that's why this will, regardless of whose side you're on, this will be interesting to see from a legal perspective how this plays out. Now here's where it gets a little bit crazy. Uh, there's some more claims here and this is, yeah, this is past just the money. Not only does FaZe Clan take advantage of these young artists, it jeopardizes their health, safety, and welfare, writes Friedman in the petition to determine controversy. Tenny says Face Clan, Face Clan pressured him to live in one of its homes in the Hollywood Hills with other young YouTubers where he says he was given alcohol before turning 21 and encouraged to illegally gamble. Face Clan also continuously pressured and encouraged Tenny and others to undertake dangerous stunts while performing in videos. During one of these videos, uh, Tifu suffered an injury to his arm uh, which resulted in permanent disfigurement. And then uh, another big claim here Tenny's petition to the Labor Commissioner also claims FaZe Clan signed an 11-year-old gamer and pressured the minor and his family to lie about his age. He's asking for a determination 
that FaZe Clan has violated the TEA, the TAA, and this uh, that his gamer agreement is unenforceable and that the company must repay him all revenue it has collected as a re result of its work for him. The final statement here that's, I think, important, Tifu and my law, for law firm are sending a message, Friedman said in a statement to The Hollywood Reporter. The time is now for creators, gamers, streamers to stop being taken advantage of through oppressive, unfair, and illegal agreements. The significant legal actions taken today will be a wake-up call that this behavior will no longer be tolerated. The gaming community deserves a safe environment that allows gamers the freedom to control their own careers. And that's where it stops. But obviously, we're going to look at the responses. At this point, uh, FaZe Clan has released an official response. And this is like, this is heated, man. This is insane. Everyone's picking it up. And I will keep you updated as more stuff comes out. Because after I read you this, you're going to see the there are some facts that are not adding up right people and we don't know the truth yet so we i can't come to a judgment here's phase clan's official response we're shocked and disappointed to see the news of tfu's press article and lawsuit over the course of our partnership with him which began in april 2018 phase clan has collected zero dollars in tournament winnings zero dollars in twitch rev zero dollars in youtube rev zero dollars from any social platform in fact We've only collected a total of 60 grand from our partnership, while Tifu has earned millions as a member of FaZe Clan. While contracts are different with each player, all of them, including Tifus, have a maximum of 20% to FaZe Clan in both tournament winnings as well as content revenue, with 80% to the player. In Turner's case, neither of those have been collected by FaZe. We're proud of what we've accomplished together over the past year with Turner and will continue to support him. So that's their response. Now, people, one, this does address a lot of the lawsuit, but people are, one, upset that they, they do not address the underage drinking. They do not address the uh, pressuring the minor, the 11-year-old player, and telling him to lie about being 13 so he can join, so he can collect winnings in tournaments and compete. Uh, they don't address that. So that's the first anger that I've seen. And, but you see here, they say 20% to FaZe Clan in both winnings as well as content revenue, whereas the lawsuit says 80%. And I gotta be, before facts come out, I'm not, I think I, that would be crazy if they were taking 80%. Like if they actually are, that's insane. That's absolutely insane. But if they're taking 20%, that's very close to industry, industry standard from what I know, 2015, right? Somewhere around there. And especially, at least from the brand deal side, I've never, I, I don't know about uh, tournament winnings and stuff. I've never uh, signed with an org like that, but for brand deal specific, which is what I believe Tifu is claiming in the lawsuit, 20% uh, would be fine. But he's saying 80%. And then it looks like in this statement, FaZe Clan is saying 20% in both tournament winnings as well as content revenue. So I don't know if content revenue is referring to the brand deal revenue. I assume it is. Uh, otherwise, they, they dodge the, the other point as well. I'm not too sure. We got to wait for more info to come out. But those are the official statements. Now, let's, let's go to FaZe Banks' Twitter, the, the owner of FaZe Clan, one of the owners, and see what he said because uh, it, uh, <laughs> it's... It's pretty bad, man. It really is. It starts with this. Yo, this whole thing with Tifu is pretty unbelievable. The first thing I'd like to say is we do not and have never taken 80% of anyone's prize money. Not sure where that came from, but a contract like that has never existed. We've collected $0 from Turner's prize money. Zero. I'm pretty bummed out, man. Uh, F all this business stuff. You know we keep it PG here. The money stuff, like this is going to... Uh, F with me personally for a really long time. I met Tifu when he was getting 100 viewers on Twitch. I attached myself and fully committed to helping him succeed, and it worked. And to have all this dropped on my head without any warning, it blows my mind. I still don't fully believe Turner knows or understands what these claims are. I believe his team put this in front of him and encouraged him to follow through. I'm heartbroken. And then this is the... I don't know, this kind of sucks. Like, I got code Tifu tattooed on my body. Imagine how stupid I feel right now. That's, I mean, this is a perfect example of whether, I don't know, whether you agree with him, with Tifu, don't tattoo someone's name or something like that on your body. It's just, even if, I don't know, it's even with like a, a couple. I've been told this all the time. No matter how much you love somebody, it, anything can happen, man. And putting, uh, I mean, obviously there's laser removal, right? But 
damn. <laughs> that's, that's just salt in the wound with this situation. Um, this is so beyond numbers and contracts. Homie, I called you my family, and not only did I get blindsided, but you can't return a call. I'm crushed, dog. And uh, yeah, he goes on and says, at the end of the day, this is all about money, more and more and more money. Clearly, Tufu felt he deserved millions of dollars in salary in addition to all the millions he earns on his platforms. He was unhappy, and this was his attempt at getting out of the contract to stoop as low as he did or his team, whoever's responsible for this, it's disgusting, lies, lies, lies. I'm sorry for being unprofessional, but I'm hurting right now. I'm going off Twitter for a minute. I've said all I need to say, as crazy it might sound. I still love you, dude, T-Food. I wish you nothing but the best. A phone call would be appreciated. And he also shared a clip on Twitter of a, of, of a picture or a video of T-Food, Teenager Shotguns, three beers in 30 seconds. Uh, and he, he quoted that. What was that about being pressured to drink underage? So that was a, a good shot by him, I guess, there as well. So that's FaZe Banks' reply. All right, there's a lot going on right now. And the final, so it, you can take all that in as you want. That's kind of like the main info we have right now. And then Hunter T. Nade shot. Uh, Hunter, you guys know Nade shot, owner of Hunter T. He responded right away. To, to this news and then there was some beef between him and Banks. Here's what he said, they're deleted now but I still have a photo. I hope recent news doesn't affect the broader gaming community's perception of esports teams. There are plenty of orgs in the space whose top priority are their professional players and content creators. And for what it's worth, I'm personally friends with a lot of the owners and staff over at FaZe Clan. I know for a fact that the majority of them do not have ill intentions, but some at that org just don't understand the esports ecosystem and take advantage where they can. So a little bit of shots fired, right? Well, Banks responded, and again, we will keep it PG. You're a piece of dude, and when my side of this is heard, you will see why. Way to jump on the bandwagon and chase the clout. You must be dancing right now. Matt, I'm going to personally make sure you regret tweeting this and adding to this BS dumpster fire. Damn, dude. That is hot. That is heated. And Hunter T deleted those tweets I just talked about. And Nate, he said this. I have the utmost respect for what Banks, Tampa, Rain, and Apex have created at FaZe. We've been working together and alongside one another for almost a decade. I apologize if my previous tweets do not reflect that sentiment. This situation is being blown out of a, uh, proportion. And Banks said, I appreciate this tweet. So that's where we're at, man. That, uh, <laughs> that just got heated out of nowhere. I mean, Nade Shot did take a little jab at FaZe, but Banks' response... <laughs> was so heated man like just yeah i mean he he tries to be professional right but there's just there's no chance and, and that's why people love him he's real so i i get that so that's all the info i got for you today ladies and gentlemen i know it's not directly fortnite but tifu is the biggest name in fortnite man like i think we have to cover this i will update you if more info when more info drops for now though, let me know what you think of all this in the comment section down below. Touch that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. Code the camp, camp and Rusher. You don't have to tattoo it on your leg though, I understand. Uh, but if you could use it in the shop, I'd appreciate it. Take care, talk soon. Goodbye.